Hey roomies, welcome to my art room, and today we're going to learn about hands, or as my youth pastor called it, getting handsy. Hands, the eternal enemy of all artists, young, old, fetus. But how can we draw them once and for all? There are two main ways I saw when looking at tutorials and books over the years. The first is a more traditional technique by studying the bones, the muscles, the soul, and even the names of them in a more medical fashion. Also among learning that, you learn the joints, the muscle groups, and all of their actions. The knowledge gained from this can make you truly understand a hand. However, this method can be overwhelming to someone new to hands. I know it was intimidating when I first bought this book years back. The second way I see it when it comes to learning hands is breaking them down into shapes. Normally blocks, ovals, I prefer long triangles. A technique I see a lot is grouping everything into shapes and then separating the fingers out. And some tutorials I see online is just draw a block and draw another block and do some lines and boom, hand. But those don't even go into the complicated poses that the hand can do. And to that I say, not all tutorials are equal. The latter doesn't take into account how the hand can move. Some don't even mention the proportions of the hand like the former does. What if you draw a great hand and it's not proportioned correctly? Then you come down with a case of, Yowie hands. I've been diagnosed with worse things. Not to mention how the wrist goes wristy twisty. I study hands every week for a bit and I even make it a point in most of my artwork to never hide the hands and at least one must be drawn. Face it, you know you used to draw characters with their hands in their pockets or behind them to avoid drawing hands. I saw the sketchbook. I can prove it. <laughs> So both of those ways have positives and negatives, so what is the truest way to learn hands? So the book I'm using is Classic Human Anatomy by Valerie L. Winslow. I spent a while reading it and drawing, and I can't say I have an expert understanding, but knowing where things are in the hand does help. But honestly, this is quite intimidating. But Vega, can't I just look up an online tutorial? Yes! But which one? A bunch of YouTubers already figured this out, so I challenged them to catch these hands. I heard that was like street language for drawing hands. What is the one that's gonna click for you? What's the one that clicks for me? Well, before I tell you, let's look at a few different ways of drawing hands that are taught here on YouTube and try it their way. Well, she tried, at least, you know, she... Okay, before you yell at me, I'm not punching down at a channel. They got like a thousand times more subs than me, but I can't commit Grand Theft Art School from this. I mean, come on. Mikey Mega Mega Yo! So I tried their method while making notes about how they taught it. They say to start from the wrist, which yeah, sometimes I forget about that. He starts very, very basic, but then it feels like it just jumps in complication with the third hand pose. And that's when I started to think, slow down, which they did with number four. I think that did well, but I failed the most complicated part at the end with the hand reaching out. The whole time though, he encourages using what technique you like best to get what you want. But his method is like a stepping stone or a base for even more. Plus it's easy to mix this method with others I've seen, like stick and ball. Hey everybody, it's like. Ah! I love nearly everything Lavender Town makes, but this made me scream in frustration trying to follow it. There's a lot of good advice here that can work for some people. The best part is explaining how she would draw them wrong and why it's wrong. Then she gave some great tips like silhouetting the hand first and doing the details or drawing from the outside in, which I couldn't understand. But she reminded you not to panic if you get it wrong. Blocking out the shape was interesting, but I hated my results. In the end, they also encourage you to go toony if you want, so look it, toony I did. And then I got angry because I feel too stupid for this video. This video is getting out of hand. Learning hands is a handful. I just can't get a grip on this. Is there any YouTuber, any, that could give me a hand up? <laughs> This video I watched time and time again and it helped me get a little bit better at hands. Cause why the foe? When in doubty one finger outie. Ethan breaks down Loish's hands. Loish? Loish? I say Loish. He teaches how to simplify your thinking when it comes to drawing hands. How to break down how other artists solve the hand problem 
and came up with the three finger mitt as shapes that you can use. It's very versatile, however you need to know where the fingers go. And even when trying myself, I messed up. Also his advice on the channel, while it's great for everyone, it's tailored for animators. But it helped me understand the most in a way that I could get. As someone who has trouble learning anything, I really appreciated it. So we looked at a few ways to draw hands, now what? Start! But wait, you need a model, don't you? On my computer, I actually have a swipe file. Everyone should make a swipe file. It's a place where you keep your references, your inspiration, or whatever just helps you draw. Most people use Pinterest, and I use my reference Tumblr and its tags to organize it. But after reading the book, Steal Like an Artist by Austin Klingon, which is the Bible to those who commit Grand Theft Art School, I took their advice and made a swipe file, and I got a lot of hands in it. But if you want a quicker way to build this up, I got you covered. I took 50 pictures of my hand and put them together so you could just download it on my Gumroad. It's free, but you can pay whatever you want. If you do, it's kind of like a tip and I would really appreciate it. But the most important part of listening and reading tutorials is to put what you learned into practice. Yes, I think a lot of you will, but be honest, how many times did you just consume knowledge without actually using it? I got one more YouTube video to mention. From Yan Sculpts, I learned the formula that taught me how to start. His video taught me how to practice more efficiently. With all the ways to draw hands, it's easy to get a little dizzy. The main five points are deconstruction, that's doing breakdowns or studying things like the bones, the functions, and the muscles. Recall, it's trying to draw on your own with reference and then self-critiquing by comparing with your reference. Self-critique, it's the self-critiquing part that helps you retain what you learned. Quality sleep. Oh and spaced repetition. Do it again, my art friend. But what's special about that video is that it uses science to properly put this knowledge in your brain and even the proper way to study hard. I predict that in a month, I'll be able to draw hands better than ever. And I really think you can too, if we both work together. But what about my own advice? What's my tutorial for this? What's the one way that clicks for me? Not giving up. Just don't give up on it, that's it. Everything I learned about hands is someone else's map and I get lost constantly, but I keep trying and I slowly get better. Don't give up at it. What I can do is keep encouraging you to try. Stop hiding hands behind the back or in your pockets. Stop being afraid of making mistakes. Just try it, even if you aren't successful. I wasn't 78% of the time, but you know what? That 22% was magic. We learned a lot here, but I want to see you put it into action. Steal from other artists, study, break down, concentrate, and art hard, and you will make it. And I want to see you make it. Tag me on Instagram or Twitter at Vegas Art Room to show me your hand practice, and I will feature them in the next enemy video. Let's draw against this enemy together. And my old youth pastor sent me a letter. Oh. Oh.